What is going on guys? Kosho here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. And as you see, the surgery has been done, all right? So I had a full tear, distal bicep tear or rupture, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so they went in, if you guys have watched the Eddie Hall uh, bicep tear video, I got the same procedure done that he had gotten done, okay? So this is literally uh, two days post-op. Uh, so I have a follow-up in a week and then we'll kind of take everything off and then I'll see where we're at from there. Um, in no rush, honestly, right? So a lot of people try to get back as fast as possible, but for me, it's like, for what? You know, I don't have a big competition or anything like that. I'm trying to make this thing heal as best as possible, be smart about my training. Uh, once I get the green light to actually do some things, I'll start working on my lower body, my opposite arm, etc. But that's where we're at with surgery. Uh, it was pretty dang painful uh, <laughs> right after surgery and then the next day, but you know, uh, slowly getting better every day in, in the gym. You know, I've been having a really fun time coaching people more and it's kind of cool. Like once you kind of lose the ability to train, you can focus on other things like coaching and finer details. Uh, but the comeback is going to be real guys. I'm very excited. I think I have the most knowledge honestly I've ever had and I have so many ideas that I'm excited to implement in my training when I do come back. So it's going to be good. Uh, but in today's video, we're going to cover three tricep exercises that I absolutely love. Some have been a staple in my training for the last 15 years. Others are a little bit newer, uh, but these are tricep exercises that if you're someone who's trying to strengthen or grow your triceps, either for accessory for strength uh, or you just want some nice juicy aesthetic tries, some horseshoes, you want to throw these into your training. So Coach Tanya is going to help demonstrate these movements uh, and we will just get on with it. It's going to be a short, quick video, so enjoy. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with one of my favorite all-time tricep exercises. And I've been doing these since I was a kid, right? When I first started training, all the way through my athletic career and what I do today, I've always gotten a great stimulus from these. And there's tons of different variations of how you can do these, uh, either with tempo, with attachments, which we'll talk about in a second. But we're just gonna start with the basic tricep pushdown, okay? So when you're doing a pushdown, obviously we have a cable machine and there are some machines that are just for tricep pushdowns, uh, but you can use like bands or something like that to still get the same uh, movement uh, pattern without having a cable sack. So Coach Tanya's gonna demonstrate just normal tricep pushdowns, okay? So she's standing upright and she's really just trying to focus on using the triceps here. So there's kind of two rules of thumb. Sometimes people like to go to 90 and push down, right? Uh, for me, I kind of like that full range of motion, so I kind of let my fist come a little bit higher than 90, and I'm really just trying to make sure that I'm flexing all the way at the bottom, okay? So we're locking out uh, the elbow all the way at the bottom. Uh, that's kind of just how we do them. Now, what she's gonna do is show you what a lot of people do wrong, and basically they start kind of pushing with their shoulders more, and they let their shoulders take control, and they're using a ton of body English, okay? Now, I'm always back and forth with the body English thing. I'm a, way more of a fan of you guys understanding using strict uh, mind muscle connection and good range of motion. However, I think the more advanced athlete will be able to understand how much body English they are using if they do use a little bit of body English. However, if you guys are watching this video, I'm not saying use a ton of body English. I'm saying understand the movement, okay? And getting good control and concentric and eccentric and making sure um, that you are tracking it progressively over time using uh, your muscle and not letting your body take over, okay? Uh, now we have ropes, you guys have probably have seen these in the gym, most gyms have these ropes. However, we, uh, as we grow, we get tons of different attachments. I travel to a lot of gyms. These handles are phenomenal. So these were on Rogue uh, Fitness. I don't know what it is, they just hit differently. They're very comfortable. Uh, I just like the way they feel in my hands and they really just, you know, crush the triceps. I, I got these uh, when I trained with Juji and Antoine in our chest training video, which I'll link above here. Uh, and right away after I'd used those, I was like, we have to get these for the gym. Uh, we also have these uh, maces, they're kind of they're like cannonball maces from Elite FTS. I was just with Dave Tate, uh, so I got hooked up with a pair of these things, which are cool because you can start at the bottom and press them and then work your way up just for some different angles to hit the triceps. Uh, and it's also gonna work a little bit on a different grip here, okay? So obviously we have more of a cannonball grip, uh, so it's gonna be slightly different on how it affects uh, the stimulus to our grip and our triceps. But number one exercise by far on the list that I've been doing for years and years is just some push down. So we're gonna move over to the second exercise, which is a little bit more advanced, okay? And it's something that you really have to make sure you get the technique down for. Uh, but if you use it, it's gonna be great for strength sport athletes and as well for tricep development. Exercise number two. Now this is definitely, I believe, a west side barbell exercise uh, because I did them with Matt Wenning and we actually do these on incline. We're gonna do them on a flat bench today, but you can do them on an incline or a flat bench, even decline. You can do it on any bench you want, really. 
Um, and I also did them with Dave Tate. So like I said, it's a little bit more of an advanced movement guy. So I'm gonna have Matt, who's an experienced lifter, kind of break it down as I'm coaching him through it. Uh, so make sure you're doing them exactly how they should be done, uh, because if you're not, it can just kind of become an exercise, like a different exercise, all right? So I don't actually know what these are called. We're just gonna call them West Side Presses, okay? Uh, so Matt's gonna grab the dumbbells. And he's gonna lay down on the bench. Now, the biggest thing here is gonna be the hand positioning. So Matt's gonna choke his hand up so that his palm is gonna be on the, the head of the dumbbells here, okay? So we don't want our hands in the middle and we don't want them down. We want them choked up as high as we can here. All right, so what he's gonna do first is uh, he's gonna press them straight up like a normal neutral grip press. And he's gonna lead with his elbows driving down towards his lower body. The head of the dumbbell is gonna to touch his shoulders. He's then going to push his elbows back for a little bit of momentum. Then he's gonna rock and kick them straight up and press out like that. Okay, so he's gonna do a couple more. So the biggest thing is letting those elbows first shift towards the lower body, and then he's gonna press them up. Now he can use a little bit more momentum here. Okay, so he's gonna rock back and press straight up. Boom, just like that. And we're really trying to press uh, basically with like our pinky. Think about pressing up with the pinky uh, and the, the palm or the hard part of the bottom of the palm. Feel those, Matt? You can see it, you can see it. Matt, Matt is struggling a little bit. Uh, and it's almost gonna be counterintuitive. He can do one more and then I'm gonna have him chill for a second. Big press. Yes, good, nice. Uh, because these actually work better with bigger dumbbells. And the reason is because the bigger the dumbbell, the larger dumbbell head. And basically what that does is it creates more of a space uh, for the press. So it actually shortens the range of motion, okay? So uh, he's using 40s, which it, you may think he was struggling with 40s, but 50s may be easier because it's just gonna be that shorter range of motion. Now, if I have 30s, I have to have a longer range of motion, uh, but this is just kind of working on that top end of the tricep or like a press. So if you guys are somebody who uh, lacks kind of locking out strength, okay, maybe in your bench or your overhead press, this is a good accessory you can throw in there to really hammer those triceps. It's also nice too uh, for mitigating fatigue a little bit, right? It's a shorter range of motion, so we can crank out a good amount of reps. Uh, and you can kind of put this in the tail end of like a tricep workout or something like that. Uh, so that's how I would program these. So great variation to throw in there. Like I said, you can do it on a flat bench, a decline, an incline. Uh, when we did them at Wangs, we did them on that incline. And overall, this delivers a really good stimulus to the triceps and something that I like. And you can see that, you know, it's a, it's a challenging exercise. So really make sure that you're focusing on those technique points that we were giving with letting the elbows come down first, getting the head of the dumbbell on your shoulder, then you can rock back press up and you can use a little bit of, uh, um, uh, use a little bit of momentum for these uh, to get a good uh, session in. All right guys, so third and last exercise for this video is going to be uh, overhead rope tricep extensions. Now I really like these because of the stretch you get with the triceps. So unlike the dumbbell where we have a shorter range of motion that we had just done exercise number two, this one's really gonna deliver a deep stretch in the tricep. Okay, so Coach is gonna grab the ropes these are just spud straps, or like sled straps. Uh, you can use anything that works for you. These are just super efficient. Uh, so basically she's gonna keep walking out, keep walking out so she can feel the weight is gonna be really pulling uh, her elbow back and getting that full stretch in her tricep. And then she's just gonna press them straight out in front of her. All right, I think uh, we have an awkward moment here where Chris is trying to really get the plate stack way too heavy. So. Wait, Bear with take us. Two. Take two. Take two. <laughs> There's only one. She only went down by one. Which just shows how screwed up the weight at is. At least I see you guys laughing. All right. So she's going to press all the way out. And then as she comes back, right, she's going to really let the weight pull her back so she feels that stretch in her tricep. And she's going to press straight out in front of her. Okay. And you can see that she's using almost like a false grip to kind of really press out uh, the, the ropes here. Okay, so we'll do this at the end uh, for like three sets, 15, 20 reps, just kind of getting everything out of the triceps that we can. Uh, but like I said, I really like this because it focuses on really uh, getting that stretch deep in the triceps. I mean, you're gonna feel these burn like crazy. Uh, and you can also do things like you can change the tempo up, you can do one slow, two fast, etc. however you want. Uh, but these are just three exercises that you know, some are new that I've been incorporating and some have been around for a long time. So you guys can throw them in with your training. Like I said, uh, these can be used for strength sport athletes, these can be used for uh, hypertrophy training. And if you're just trying to hit 
uh, you know, the triceps to get them a little bit stronger in different areas of your lift. So that's all we had, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a, a like, okay, subscribe. Head over to our Facebook group, The Iron Lions, on Facebook. We have tons of programs on zastrank.net. Uh, so give all those things a peruse. If you like stuff, we appreciate any support you guys can give us. Uh, but until then, guys, stay in the Lean Mean Strength Machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.